You might have heard about digital whiteboards in the classroom. Do you want to know more? It's a really cool way to make learning more interesting and collaborative in your classroom. It's the perfect space for all to gather around and pull information from multiple sources into one space. Hi, I'm Mr. Sharp. I have over 12 years experience in education and I'm one of USONIC's professional development trainers. Today I want to talk to you about how to get started with digital whiteboarding by signing up for a MyViewBoard.com account. First thing you want to do is go to MyViewBoard.com. You're going to locate the sign up link and from there you're going to choose to either sign up with Google, sign up with Microsoft, or type in an existing email. From there select your account making sure that you're using your G Suite and not a personal account. Select allow to give access to your drive. And you're instantly set up. Let's fill out a few questions such as I use my view board for education. I'm going to say that I'm a teacher, that I work in a school, maybe elementary, where are my schools located, and about how many people work in my organization. Choose finish up and then confirm. So from here, now that we have our account configured, let's talk about what just happened. We now have a whiteboarding account that is integrated with our cloud storage. When we need to bring content in from the cloud, we're going to use the My View Board program to be able to do that. First, let's configure a few settings. This is called the Follow Me AI. The Follow Me AI lets me configure certain things about my account. First, make sure your theme is set to education. From here, we can double check like our cloud integration. If you want to integrate with other cloud services like Dropbox or Box, you can do that here. I can also choose my pen color as well as my font style. So from here, let's choose a new purple pen color. When you're finished, make sure you select confirm. Once you've configured all of your settings, the next piece is to download the software. Locate the download icon and you'll see this window which has My View Board for Windows, so you can download that for your computer. Or if you're running Android, you can download My View Board for Android. I already have it downloaded, so the final piece I need is what's called the companion app. You can see that there's a link for Google Play if you have an Android phone, or a link for the Apple Store if you're using an iPhone. We're going to open the software, My View Board for Windows, and you'll see that there's a login window. I could touch the G icon since I signed up with a G Suite account to sign in. However, today I'm going to use the My View Board companion app. The companion app is installed on my phone and I've signed in with that same account that I signed up with MyViewBoard.com. To sign in, I'm going to touch the QR code here, walk up to the panel, and scan it. This is going to sign me into my account and sync all of my settings here onto the device. From here, what it allows me to do is access my cloud storage. So when I access, uh, for example, media import, you'll see my Google Drive account pops up. This is how you get started with a MyViewBoard.com account. If you want to know more, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. And let everyone know at your school you're using MyViewBoard and get them to sign up. There's more information in the description for how you can get in contact with us. Thanks for watching.